Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside Air Gamer. Welcome back to Simply Connect Virtual Airlines. Uh, welcome uh, to the uh, Innie Builds Beluga. Now, we haven't flown the Beluga in a little while. One of my favourite aircraft. You either love it or you hate it. Most people seem to hate it. Uh, I actually think it's quite a unique and fun aircraft, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't mind it. I, I like flying it. Uh, so yeah, we're here today. Where are we? We're in somewhere called Bulund in uh, Denmark, uh, EKBI. And we're going to be heading over to Leeds Bradford, EGNM. Um, we are on the VATSIM network. There seems to be a couple of people over there. I'm not sure who's who. Um, I don't think there was anybody online the last time I looked, but let me just make sure no one has now. So let me double check that, refresh that. That's good. Uh, hello to the people that are here so far as well. Uh, Count Davis, hello. Random user, Ashley, Frank, good evening. Good evening to everyone that's here. Del Boy, good evening. Good evening, good evening. So yeah, look, um, a very small airport in Denmark. It's mainly used for cargo, actually. Sorry, Red. Um, not not the longest of runways. The, this Beluga should take off. Like I said, it's a very small regional, kind of local. We've got Ryanair here. I don't know who SAS is. That's a, what you call them, brand. I don't know who the, those people are flying them. Okay, so look, let's get into the Beluga. Let's uh, let's get things powered up here a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go into our ground services. External power is already on there with the chocks. Uh, we will need to get the uh, fuel truck to come out to us as well. Um, we will look at that load sheet now in just two seconds. We're going to go up above here. Uh, so we've got the external powers. So we've got battery one, battery two, battery three. Okay, they've uh, come alive, so we can switch over to the externals. And if we come up here, we can turn on the uh, external gens there so we can see that all the batteries are charging. That's all good. Uh, we're going to align the ideas. Nav 1, Nav 1, and Nav 1. There we go. That's all inoperative. Okay, so we've got a bit of power to the aircraft. That's the main thing. Um, but hopefully we will uh, be a nice, easy flight for us tonight. Okay, so we are taking today, uh, we are taking the space station. And uh, we are taking fuel on board 15.1. Okay, so we're going to load the fuel. And we're going to send it to our performance page as well. Uh, we can get an ATIS request. Weather seems pretty good at the moment. We'll see if that will kick in now in a second. It should do. Uh, so we're currently at uh, EKBI. We will be going from runway to seven is the plan. Now we can get the ATIS. Might take a few minutes. No ATIS available. Why is the ATIS not available? No idea. Hey, Pilot Mario, good evening. How are you? Uh, so ground ops. We've done the low sheet. Low sheet's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Everything else should be okay for the moment. We'll, we'll sort this out. I'll have to get the wind data separately in a minute. Uh, which I can just go and do. Uh, what are we looking at? So wind is currently at... Uh, at 3.20... At uh, zero 06. Outside temperature today, where we currently are, is a beautiful six degrees, nice and cold. Uh, Q and H is uh, one zero zero six. Okay, we are dry. Anti ice will be off. Uh, we will be at fifteen flaps. Everything else on standard, flex standard, thrust. Everything else should be fine. Okay, we compute all that now. Okay, so we should be flexing at 57. Here's our rotational speeds and stuff. We'll look at all that now in a second as well. Okay, so we should be able to load the cargo. So maybe that's what we should do next. Uh, if we go here, go to ground ops. Uh, load up. And let's load up. We'll watch it go in before we do anything else. So we're taking a space station part to Leeds. No idea what they're going to do with it. Who knows? Could be for the aliens. Hey, Ronald, thank you for subscribing. Hey, Lucifer, good evening. You can be a teacher in this game. Uh, well, I am a, a real pilot. 
not one of these kind of pilots, but I do actually have my pilot's license. It's that's in my bag. It's over there. Okay, we're just gonna watch it load up, see how we go. Takes a little while and then all of a sudden it's like really fast. Hey Imran, good evening. Oh, you know what? I just realised on YouTube I didn't change uh, the route while you're watching that load in. It was E K B I E G N M. We're heading your way. We're heading to Leeds Bradford. There we go. I think tonight's just me and Count Davies flying. Unfortunately, uh, I think a few others were a bit busy. Okay, so that's uh, loaded in. I'm going to cancel the caution there. Uh, we can remove the loader then, since we are now loaded in. So that will start disappearing. And then we can go to... We'll leave that on there for a few seconds. Okay, so we're going to go up above now. We're going to go through the flow a little bit more. Um, that's all faults, so that's all fine, and we're going to turn on the, um, they're already on, that's fine, uh, probably should put on the uh, main lights first, gotta, gotta remember where everything is, um, wing lights, landing, nose, beacon, beacon can go on, nav light can go to two, that's fine, I'll put the wing light on now as well, so I don't forget, uh, we'll put the galley on. Pitch trim, your dampeners, ATIS. Now oh, that's why the ATIS, we didn't get the ATIS. Uh, pitch trim we'll have to put back on in a second. Uh, down here, uh, we're going to arm the uh, emergency lighting. That should be fine for a second. Uh, probe heats we can throw on, window heat we'll throw on. We're going to turn on all the fuel pumps. That should be good. We'll go up here. We can just test those. They all seem okay. Uh, you're an operative. We'll put you on. We'll go down here. I don't think you need to do anything like that just yet. That's for the bleeds. The valves are fine. Packs are set to one. Okay. I did say the, the loader could move. Is it going? All right, now it's going. Okay, I don't know why I didn't go before. All right, we'll just leave that as is for a second. Okay, for some reason my cameras uh, didn't save properly. That's weird. Okay, I made you that one. There we go. Panel lighting's not that we really need any, but we'll put it on a little bit. Uh, okay, so for the flight plan, we need to go into a car main. Uh, you see, you've got my Simbri fuser name. We're going to com request the company route. And there you go. It should be in there now. And then I'm going to also request the wind data, which is pending. Hey, Lucifer, this is X Plane 12, this is. Oh, you're from Kenya. Nice, Frank. Nice. Can't land at Leeds. Who knows? Steve, good evening. Uh, Jordan, good evening. Okay, so all that wind data should be done. Uh, we should be able to go to back to that page. We should be on 122.8, which uh, we are. That's fine. I'm pressing the wrong key. That's why I'm going the wrong way. Uh, do, 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 do. Just want to... Um... All right. We'll turn the radio on. It's always a good start. Might be able to hear if uh, people need us.
Okay, so we can align the IRS. IRS aligns, we can, oh, no, keep you out of the way. Right, this needs to move when you do the flight plan because it won't let you press this button otherwise. Okay, as you can see here, we didn't compute it. Uh, why did I not get my V temperatures? It's there. Ah, send data. Got to send it to the card, and then we got to send it to the FMS. Okay, you've now received all your takeoff. Uplink is done. Okay, so here we go. We've got the route uh, altitude today. We should be going up to flight level three zero zero zero. Oh, that's the alternative route. There we go. Flight level's already down here. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay, next page. Pretty sure this filled in for you, no? Okay, fuel on board is 15.1. Uh, zero fuel weight today is, is it on the card? No, they should really put the weights on the card there. Do, do, do. One two two point nine. Okay, so uh, one two two point nine up. Let's put in the rest of that stuff now, so that's fine. Okay, so if we go into our flight plan, uh, from here, we actually are just going uh, directly out, uh, believe it or not. So actually, there's probably nothing here. Uh, yeah, look, going direct to Gollum, so that's fine. And then at EGNM, uh, yeah, I think we're doing the same. We're going directly into um, ILS-32, uh, I think is the landing at the moment. Transition... Don't want to transition. Can I change you? No transition. Okay, we'll insert you. Doesn't seem to be any discons at the moment, so that's all kind of good. And any other pages I need to do on this one? Can't remember. Reference a cars. Okay, no, it's uh, that's only our approach data that we'll need to do. Okay, so that's all good. So we'll be rotating at 160, basically. All right, let's power up the APU. Uh, yeah, you can fly anywhere in the game. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere you want. We're in Denmark currently, and we're going to be heading over to... Uh, we're going over to the UK and Leeds. Hey, Adrian, good evening. How are you? Uh, I don't know. So the next stream will be Thursday. We're doing Construction Simulator looking at the brand new update. Uh, Friday we're doing American Truck Simulator. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll have a look. We'll try and aim for next Monday, uh, Jordan. Uh, long car drive. I have played the game a few times. Okay, so this should have started up. Let's just check our screens and monitors. There you go. Look, the APU's kicking in. You can hear it out the back. Everybody else is disappearing here. Fuel truck's still here as well. That's fine. We just wait for the APU to be fully uh, pressurized. EGT's coming down now, so that's good. Okay, so we do have APU power, so what we're going to do, we are going to throw it on the bleeds. Uh, which also means I can turn off the external powers. And then what we can do here is just make sure the APU is uh, still charging batteries, which it currently is. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Uh, we can now put uh, that up. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Back to the EFB then, uh, we need to go to ground ops, ground services, uh, fuel truck needs to go, uh, external power can go, chocks can go. I'm going to leave that panel up there for me for a minute. Okay, so we got to put the flex in, 
Uh, so it's flexing to 57, right? Like flex 57, that's sitting there. Uh, so we need to make sure we put the flex in here. So our target is 94.8, so that's fine. Landing inversion, don't need to worry about that just yet. Okay, altitude select. So, I'm going to be honest with you, we're going to be heading straight up. Um, there's no ATC currently, so we're going straight up to 30,000 feet. I don't think there's any uh, point messing around really, is there? Uh, yeah, we're flying the Beluga. It's a heavy cargo plane. We're taking a part of a space station inside currently. Um, that's what we're doing. All right. Okay, we'll have you set. Okay. 30,000, please. There we go. So our first speed was 160. Um, so 160 plus usually about 15. So if we go to about 175. And then what I'm going to do is press this button here. No, not that button. So that's preset. And then I'm going to put this up to about 2.30ish. Uh, and uh, we'll look at that in a minute. Heading select is fine. I want to put my vertical speed up at about 1.4. Because it's going to come up here. Look, So I can do my takeoff. Uh, we can have a look at the flight plan as well if we needed to. Uh, we can go up and down here. I mean, we go straight across the water. It's a pretty straightforward flight tonight. It's nothing uh, too complicated, one says. Um, okay, what's my Q&H on here? That's 10, 9, and 9, 2. Okay, so we need to change you. Uh, what was it? 10, 0, 0, 6. Okay, so 10, 0, 0, 6. Ground ovulation is about 250, so that's correct. Happy, happy. Um, everything else is good to go. I think we're good to just fire them up. Um... Oh yeah, we can do a tour quickly if you want. Yeah, so this plane, the good thing about this plane is that we can actually uh, look around quite a bit. You have to keep this door closed because it's not pressurized. And then you can go up here to the cargo. Uh, you can see here we've got the space transportation uh, item. Which is pretty cool. You can actually control the hood and stuff by all these switches. All of these actually work, uh, which is kind of cool. I think it's done by this over here. Yeah, you can flick this and it opens and closes. Um, again, when you're in the air, though, we'll black out. Hey, Wayne, good evening. How's it going? So we're going to come down back down here, uh, like I said, because this isn't a pressurized compartment. And this is obviously some stairs that go down. Pilots can get in and out. All, all that kind of good stuff. Not much else really going on in this aircraft. We do have the crapper. There we go, just in case. Alright. Put you back onto flight plan. Go back to the top. Okay, that should be all good. I uh, don't need to worry about any of that stuff at the moment. Okay, so it should be a case of let's turn on the engines and hope for the best now. We need to just set TRRA. There we go. We set the standby so because we are on the network. What's my radio for VH1? 122.8. Okay. So that should be fine. So why can't I? Why have we not heard anyone yet? All right, let's not worry about that. I don't want to burn too much fuel here. Okay, so we're gonna light up the engines. So to start the engines on this, it's been a while. We're gonna go uh, crank A. As you just heard, it will kind of just killed itself there a little bit and we're going to start uh it says open here so you can see the uh, n2 is rising once it gets to about 20 percent we're going to put the fuel in okay, engine one fuel
Okay. We're going to arm number two. We're going to watch the N2 rise again. We'll go lobby in some fuel. Okay, engines are stabilized. Uh, watching these unload at Airbus factory is amazing. Yeah, we get quite a lot of them here. They actually train the Beluga pilots at Shannon Airport because we have such bad wind. Um, it's a quite a hard approach. So they actually train the uh, train them a lot of them over here. We see the Beluga quite a lot. I do like a Beluga, I must admit. All right, that's engine start anyways. There we go. We're going to put the ignition to off. Oh, well, you can put it on continuous, I suppose. And... The generators should have automatically already come on. Fuel's all good. Uh, we can see Gen 1 there. You can see they are keeping everything nice and charged. So we can come off the APU power. We're going to turn off the APU. Okay, q &H set. Everything else is set. Uh, let's set our flaps uh, to 15. All right. Hopefully, all my buttons are configured. Well, we'll find out. Okay, I just need to find out where I'm taxiing, so give me one second. I just need the airport chart. Okay, I'm currently at the South Apron. Uh, bill and traffic, simply 7742 at the South Apron Cargo, uh, taxiing up to runway 27, uh, holding point Bravo, uh, Kilo to the uh, holding point. Right, as the brakes off. Okay, realistically, I need to do a bit of a donut here because I don't want to backtrack. Okay, got my brake buttons. That's all good. Jesus Christ, 43% just to get the uh, the engines moving. Alright, as well as that, because I completely forgot, taxi lights can go to the on position and runway turning lights to the on. Quite a lot of uh, aircraft here. Must be a popular place. I'm surprised I've not heard anybody on Unicom. My radios are definitely on.
Okay, so we're going to cross over the runway here. I mean, nobody's made any announcements that they're coming in or taking off, so I think we should be good. Uh, Bull and traffic, simply 7742 crossing active runway. Uh, no, this is X-Plane uh, 12, so there's two flight simulators, we do fly both. I, I In some ways I'd prefer X-Plane 12 for the fact of just all my different aircraft. Remember when Sharon was used to get BAA 38s uh, from London City? Yeah, they... Um, to be fair, Shannon doesn't do too much now going into London, to be honest with you. They have the ATRs, really, that, that do most of that work now. Why? Flight director's fine. I'm hoping that my radio panel is on. Should be on. 122 decimal 8. Yeah, this is a heavy plane. This is a big one. It's going to take a lot of thrust to get in here. The other guy should be taxiing behind me now, look. Okay, while well, we're heading down here, uh, auto brake set to max in case uh, we have an RTO. I've already set the, what should we call it, the spoilers. The spoilers are set and armed, everything else is good. We're going to turn the uh, strobe on to auto, I suppose. We'll change the nose to take off, we're pretty much there now. Uh, we're going to turn on our landing lights. Everything else is on. Should be a straight out departure hit.
Uh, 77742 lining up straight out departure from runway 27. Okay, so we're gonna arm the auto throttle. We're gonna press the button down here and uh, Yeah, 120 knots. Oh, it was bouncy there on the ground. Oh wow, we're losing speed. Why are we losing speed? It's like flying an absolute pig. Okay, gear up. Okay, slats are in. So loud. Jesus. Made myself think now. For some reason the plane wants to go into the ground. Okay, I'm very confused by the autopilot. Hey, Games of Amy, hello. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why my autopilot's... Um...
All right, we'll just keep climbing. We'll follow. Uh, we'll follow it by hand for now. Nav is on. Nav is selected. Right, we'll just keep taking this plane up for now. Yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what, um... Why it's not enjoying the autopilot. As soon as I engage autopilot, it's just trying to crash me into the ground, so... Get about five thousand feet before I try again. I think we're in icing range now too. Got the probe heats on. All right, we're in the air now. So that's the main thing. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. We shouldn't be that heavy. Yeah, they are balanced. I think it was, I don't know, I don't know what it was uh, playing at to be honest with you, but anyways, it's decided it's okay now, so. Okay, we're above 10,000 feet, uh, landing lights can come to the uh, off position. Anti-ice is all on, I don't think there's anything else I need to do down here. Right, the only thing we will need to do is the landing performance. Do we do it from here? Or has it already given me my weights and balances on here? Right, so this card you can change. Usually. There you go. Okay, so yeah, it's already given me my um, my landing stuff. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're at 15,000 feet. I always feel like uh, it sounds like Thunderbird 2. How are we looking? Got a crosswind. 
All right. We're going to go to standard pressures. We're at 17,000 feet. Okay, so the one thing that we can look at is the approach. Uh, so I'm just going to get some meter data just so it's all filed in so I don't forget. Uh, slash meter E, G, uh, and M. Let's have a look. What's the weather like? H is 1015, 5 degrees, visibility at 999. Um, oh, yeah, it's good. It should be a nice landing, hopefully. Wind is variable at one knot, no gusts. Uh, should be a nice, simple, straightforward landing. Alright, let's uh, mess around with these sounds a bit more so they're not so loud. Okay, a bit more bearable now. Uh, Belugas aren't really busy with the A350 wings at the moment from Chester. I uh, need to get down there for some spying. Oh, really? Yeah, we haven't had one in a little while now, to be fair. Normally, like I said, we get, it, we get them in a kind of a bunch when they're doing training and stuff. Anyways, uh, okay, Count Davies is quite far ahead of us. <clears throat> Count Davies is flying in the Other than that, I think should be uh, pretty good. We can uh, chat away. More yours now for the next 45 minutes. Hey, Dark Dragon, good evening, how are you? Yeah, good mate. I don't know if, if one's ever been to Leeds Bradford either. <laughs> no idea. Uh, Korean are bringing their 747-800s uh, into Continental from June. The summer season's place. Triple sevens can't wait to see. Oh, really? Uh, Count, are you flying on Microsoft Flight Sim or X plane? Yeah, I'd like to go out and do some spotting, but uh, I should be bringing some flying vlogs hopefully in the next kind of two to three months. <clears throat> the weather still here is too bad to fly really, it's still too cold, very windy. Yeah, once we kind of get into the May, June, hopefully I'll get some hours up in the air and uh, we'll get some nice videos. Do a flip, Jabrova. Yeah, wait till landing, we probably will. Gotta love the whale. Oh. Physics is a marvellous thing, isn't it? Hey, 
Okay, so we're at 28,000 feet currently. Uh, the anti-ice can probably come back off now. Unless it tells us we're back in range. We should be good. So we're back in here for a reason. I need to change this. Once we hit 30,000. I need to put out my radar a little bit here too. Oh, I just wondered how the B-47 uh, was flying on this now. But uh, you're not flying it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're at 30,000. We should hold altitude here. You can see we're picking up some speed now. Are we going that fast? Okay, so we need to change you now to uh, cruise. So there you go, it's going to wind down those engines a bit. Hey, where's Bambi? Just subscribed. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Scared the crap out of me, but thank you. Uh, why are the four oil throttles not reacting the way they're supposed to? For some reason, the auto throttle didn't engage properly, but it's okay now. Hey, Dean, good evening, how are you? It seems to be uh, seems to be okay again now. All right. So let's have a look at uh, some of the ILS data for landing uh, while we're here. Uh, if we go to the flight, these Bradford uh, approach, we're going in on ILS 32. Uh, okay. 110.9 so we need to make sure we put it into here so the ILS is wrong currently uh, so 110.9 uh, our course should be 318 okay so you go ILS 110.9 course 318 that's all fine that's all fine
The SSG and X plane is very buggy. Every flight is hit and miss. When was it last updated? I thought they updated it a lot too long ago, but must be wrong. All right, get comfy now. Ah, legs up. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Surviving. Been outside all day. I was fixing a drive shaft on a VW T5. Pain in the ass. And I had to change the starter motor as well. Gotta love uh, weather engines. We seem to have just hit a big bunch of clouds. And you know what? We could probably push the pace a bit. Hey William, do they uh, do they have it where you can land in the United States? Uh, yeah, you can fly anywhere you want in the world. If I want to go fly into America, we can fly to America. Hey, just watch the short with the donkeys dancing. I have another one of the dog. I was walking the dog this morning, and uh, my dog Max, he loves muddy puddles. He's the filthiest dog you'll ever meet. Uh, I'll put it up on uh, YouTube tomorrow. Yeah, I've got a bit of a pet farm going on here. Got donkeys, Shetland pony. Chickens, show chickens that they like these like little ones and all different kind of breeds and uh, got um, rabbits, guinea pigs, dogs, cats, tortoise. Uh, got a parrot. He's in the background there. Count, did you see that the Horizon 787 got an update yesterday for Microsoft Flight Simulator? No, we're doing a direct in. There's no, there's no, um, there's nothing apparently. Apparently we're just going direct according to the sim brief. Um, now the reason why I can't, I can't post them on Discord because, um, I refuse to pay for the, uh, what you call it, on Discord, so you can post videos. I post them on TikTok as well, but I don't know what's going on with TikTok recently. I've been posting on TikTok, but I've been getting zero views. It's like they're not, they're not showing properly. I don't, I don't know what I've done wrong. Let's see if that's actually changed. How did you do voodoo and stuff? Is that true? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't want to watch other people's videos. Yeah, there's definitely something not right with uh, this. Uh, with yeah, there's there's something wrong with this. I, I don't even know what. No, no, saw that. Cheers. Uh, yeah, Horizon's updated their planes, ready for cross the pond um, next week or whenever it is. 
Uh, William, yes, yeah, so I did it. Uh, today's episode, should I should have expanded them, I think. Or did I do it in tomorrow's episode? I've, it's, uh, yeah, I know the cement buckets, you just click on the wall. Saw an update on the 757 for Microsoft, looks very good. Yeah, the the, uh, the 777 from um, PMDG looks good as well. Uh, Lucifer, on Thursday we're going to be doing Multiplayer Construction Simulator. I'll be showcasing their latest update and um, truck pack. Even though they gave it to me to do for today, but doing Multiplayer Thursday. I was going to fly the 787. I mean, I'm looking on the live map at the moment. There's no aircraft in Leeds Bradford, so... Should be a problem if uh, things go wrong. Uh, tomorrow's videos, you're going to have more gold mining simulator. Uh, you have um, Center Sim, and there was another game that was sent to me that I wanted to put a video up on, but we'll see. I don't think people enjoy watching me play Center Simulator because I'm so far behind because I pre-recorded and didn't know what I was doing. Hey Cam, hey, you brought it and never played it. Well, if you're around Thursday night, you can do multiplayer with us if you want. You just need to do the tutorial. Once you've done the tutorial, you're allowed to do uh, multiplayer. And Count, as well on Friday, we're doing American Truck Simulator Convoy. So if you want to do that as well with us, let me know. I'll keep you a space. Uh, flew from Leeds Bradford last year. Jet 2, brilliant airport. I like Leeds Bradford. I like Newcastle as well. I like flying into Leeds Bradford and Newcastle. Both of them I enjoy flying into. Um, on the game. Oh, Dean, nice. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with TikTok. I need to have a look at it tomorrow because I posted three videos. Dean, can you see the pit Can you see the video on my profile of the donkeys? Since you're on TikTok right now. Ah, uh, Imran, you can see it. Okay, so you can see it. I must be doing something wrong with my tags uh, because I'm like before I was getting hundreds and hundreds of views, and now I'm getting none. So I've clearly messing something up with TikTok. Newcastle's my loco. Uh, not much going. Yeah, not much going on there, but I enjoy... I like the little divot on the runway. It's a good one to land into. It's always fun. I enjoy coming into a lot of the Irish ones. Cork, uh, Knock, which is my my one, Shannon, and Dublin. I don't mind coming into Belfast occasionally. They're all kind of nice as well. Hey, Stevie Rex, welcome to Simply Air. Your pilot is enjoying the view, and so should you. Hey, Stevie, we're flying. We're flying the beautiful whale.
A bit windy up here. It's shaking a bit. Whoa! Oh my god. Uh, Gaeth is just described. Thank you very much if you're watching. Sorry if I butchered your name. Bought American Truck Simulator the other day. It's a bit like Euro Truck Simulator 2 with American Truck Simulator just in USA, but I've been enjoying it inside. So just need the DLC for it. Yeah, um, well, at least for if you do pick up DLCs or if you want to join the convoy on Friday, uh, if, depending on what, what maps you have, you're more than welcome to convoy with us. Lucifer, are you in the Discord? I see they had to leave 737s there last week. Oh, what, we're flying from London Heathrow and Dream with Virgin. I'm surprised that Virgin is still even in the air, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, Stevie, that's not an ugly plane. It's beauty, you know. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Uh, Knock Airport, Ryanair, bring, uh, I've now got the new uh, 737 Maxes, the Max 8s, they're there now. I saw on the uh, plane spotting thing app that I'm on or whatever for Knock that uh, there are a lot of people there taking pictures. Thanks, only a mum I could love. Well, Lucifer, DM me what stuff you have, and if you want to join us um, on Friday, I'll make a route available, etc., uh, etc. Et if you want to join us in a convoy, it's up to you. I don't know if you heard that, Stevie. Friday, we're doing ATS. I should put a DM out to everybody, really. Well, it's just a an A310, isn't it? And they just basically added a huge cargo lid to the top. I think it's a great bit of engineering, do you not think? I saw Leary wanting me, uh, more Airbus and, and fleet. They must, must see straight for him at uh, Bollocks. He will never go with Airbus because he's buying all the, uh, the the maxes that everybody's now rejecting. He's buying at a cut price. Um, but yeah, obviously he's trying to wind Boeing up to try and get a better better deal on the, the, the scrapyard Max 8s that he's already brought. Um, yeah, Boeing are in big trouble. Now, to be fair to O'Leary, he is apparently... Uh, when they come in here at Dublin, they're, they're spending three weeks uh, under full inspection by Ryanair before they go airborne. So, I don't know. We'll see. Nice wannabe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, normal time, 2015. Yeah, just uh, DM me on uh, Discord uh, so I can add you to the group chat. And I'll find out what add-ons you've got, and uh, we'll go from there. Max 8, 200 did uh, Leeds Dublin last Saturday night. Uh, well, he's got quite a few of them now, O'Leary. He's, um, like I said, there are anyone that's kind of started to reject them. Uh, in America and stuff, he's he's snapping them up. O'Leary's a he's a great businessman, tell ya, ah. asshole, but great businessman. Okay, top of the sense here now because we're very heavy. Now this computer is based off the A3 uh, the A310, uh, so we could actually go a little bit past this before we need to descend. Otherwise, we're going to come down too early. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We got a while to go yet.
Ah, uh, no, they'll, they'll get them off the ground. They'll have to. With the back ordering and stuff of them and things like that. I don't think they're going to lose any more... Any more business. Uh, they'll get them off the ground. And this is the problem. They, you know... The NTSB, they'll, they'll just... Uh, friggin' push it through for them. In paint job with dots. Well, he's he's supposed to be looking for Max Nines, he said, O'Leary. And tens. Well Lucifer, if you're in my Discord, just find any chat with my name on it. Click me and just send me a DM. Last time you ever put anyone on the moon. Ah, but did America really put a man on the moon? Where's your proof? <laughs> I've got stones in the back garden. <laughs> okay, Count Davies is looking like he's coming into land. Put their eggs in the wrong basket. 757 had scope for modernization of bigger engines. Yeah, but to be fair, the 737, it needed updating to compete with the, the, the efficiency and the, the fuel saving of the Airbus, you see. So they, they had to do something, but they should have just redesigned the plane. Putting the bigger engines just on the wings has just caused countless headaches and the quality control. And I mean, I just, I don't know. Boeing are in big trouble, that's for sure. As I heard, Jebediah Kerman was still considering. Yeah, 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 maybe, yeah. I, I have to, I'll have to play a little bit of Kerbal Space Program. I absolutely suck at it, but I can get to the moon and land and not get home. But it'd be a funny stream, because I absolutely suck. I just get everybody lost in space. I can never meet up with anybody. My rendezvousing absolutely sucks balls. I actually got a book here. It's like how to... Uh, it must still be here. Here you go, Jabrova. The Kerbal... The Kerbal Player's Guide. Wow, that's got some, that's got some dust on it. Uh, this teaches you how to basically land and build your first rockets and uh, whatever. It didn't help, I still shit at the game. Uh, well, you see, the reason why O'Leary, you know, he's always been a Boeing man. Um, he had a good contract with them, and look, he's getting them cheap. So he's kind of happy that things are going to ship because he's getting planes that are modern and, you know, the most scrutinized plane in the world. You think, like, they should be okay by now, especially the uh, the eights. Um, so, you know, he, he's probably getting great deals picking up all those other ones. 
when they first crashed out and everybody was cancelling orders and all the rest of it, he, he just scooped them all up. So he's probably saved millions, hence why he's still doing returns from here to London for 35 euros. It's the only way he can do it. Alright, let's just see where we are. Yeah, we're not too far away now, about 50 miles from top of the scent. Uh, While well, the Irish Air Force, we're so good, we still use turbine planes as our fighter pilots. <coughs> God, the dust from that book is killing me now. Um, yeah, we don't really have an Air Force. We are shocking. We rely on the UK to come and save us. Uh, we do SI shows at... Uh, and uh, we talk to Ryanair staff a lot on the channel mod. Yeah, I thought about applying to Ryanair a while back. I don't know. Still might. If I could get in with someone like Aer Lingus or something, I'd do it. I'm trying to build my hours just to keep it on the back burner, just in case. You're using turbine planes as fighter pilots. Yeah, like, I was, I was, you know, not far off the Spitfire still, you know. How do you fit planes in the cockpit? <laughs> hey, you guys, it's all about drones now. I don't even know why we still train fighter pilots, really. Everything's just drone warfare now, isn't it? Hey, Sasha, just subscribe. Thank you if you're watching. If you're not, thank you anyways. Uh, so if Russia attacked you, you need the RF to save you. Well, look, put it this way. Who's going to drop a nuke on Ireland? We don't do nothing. We don't harm nobody. We, you know, just like in the world wars, like we let Americas use us as their base and stuff, but we're nobodies, you know. Uh, so we don't need to worry. I don't think anyone's going to be sending nukes to us anytime soon. Now, if they were, got to remember, uh, Northern Ireland is connected to us, which is the UK, which technically is within your airspace, so it'd have to go past UK first, so it'd be shot down way before it even gets to us. Three Eurofire Typhoons, uh, fours flying around the Scottish Highlands right now. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, like, like I said, you guys will look after us. America will never bomb us. America loves us. All Americans think they're Irish, so... We've got that side of the world protected, and then, like I said, you have to go past the UK to get to us, and, you know, it's not going to happen. Uh, Emirates offering the same patches, go work for them. Free childcare, 405 star housing, free wages, all tax. Yeah, I, I see I see that. I, I actually saw as well, um, uh, not Emirates, uh, is Emirates, no, who was the other one? There was another one out that way as well that were looking and offering pretty good packages. Go to live like a king. Hey, Lucio, no worries. Catch you later, mate. Thanks for popping in. C 
See, this is the weird thing. There, there's no golden island. Our mud is full of rock. We're rockier than the moon. <laughs> Every American that comes here that you talk to, they're all the same. They always tell you the same thing. I used to do tour bus driving, so I used to take them down to the cliffs of Moor. Uh, you do the guiding and the driving, uh, like day trips, like nine till five. And all of them be like, oh, I have a cousin, long lost cousin, mother's, father's, brothers, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Same crap. Ah, uh, those pesky leprechauns, though. We don't get enough sunshine with the rain to get the rainbows. That's where they will hide. They will hide at the end of the rainbow. We either get rain or we get sun. Well, I must admit, I flew Etihad uh, when I came back from Australia. Uh, well, I flew Singapore going out and I flew back with Etihad. Um, I actually thought the service on Singapore was better. Um, like, the quality of the food and stuff. But the the planes and stuff um, and, the, and the space that I had on Etihad was way better. Make sure there's nobody on Leeds Bradford. Doesn't look like it. There is a Leprechaun Museum in Dublin that people go to. Uh, don't talk to me about weather. I live on the west coast of Ireland. Um, we get the worst weather. It friggin' sucks. There, <laughs> Simply Connect. When I buy my plane, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Simply Connect on it and paint it the colours. When I buy my plane, hopefully this year. See, I flew A380s over to Australia and I came back on um, an A340. A while back, though. Pretty much everyone in Ireland probably has leprosy, though, let's be honest. They're all inbreds. For some reason, the Irish just can't help themselves. Can't see England yet. Oh, hang on. Is that Land Ahoy? Okay, so we're pretty much hitting top of the scent now. 
Uh, so we're going to go on to... Uh, uh, you know, it's down order actually. Put us down to 20,000. I'm going to bring ourselves down gradually. Um, so we'll do a flight level change. Bloody hell. Did he win did he win his project? <laughs> uh the three forties uh had their issues. Yeah, well, you know, they were polluted garbage bags, you know, the amount of tons of fuel they'll burn for such short distance and stuff. Yeah, they weren't well optimized, shall we say. Pretty sure it's not to deal with him again. <laughs> okay, I need to have a look at my charts here quickly, so I'm not ignoring you. Uh, Three thousand feet. Yeah, the A350 is a beautiful. I've never flown on one, but yeah, I love the look. Of, I love the you know the mask and stuff. To be honest with you, I like the 787s as well. I think they both look nice, but yeah. <clears throat> Fucking hell! I didn't even know there was any 300s still around in the UK. I forgot where the panel lights are on this. Alright, just so we know, uh, we're going to be landing at uh, approach at 135. V reference at 130, so we'll be landing about 130. Ah, the light's down here, I remember now, look. Oh, look, the weather radar actually works on the, the Beluga, to some extent. Yeah, I want to get my speed a little bit under control here.
Okay, so we're gonna arm the auto brake uh, to low. I can't even see if it's lighting up or not. Our speed breaker's arms. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, why are we trying to fall out of the sky for? Right, I'll have a look at it in a minute. Uh, be interested to see if they go ahead with the long-haul plans of the A330 NEO. Not really. Okay, we're going to set the Q and H. Uh, what was it? I've forgotten. Uh, Q and H is... ten fifteen. There you go. Or Condor's new livery. I haven't seen it. Oh. Alright, let's have a look at this picture in Discord. I do like small planes, like the A319 is probably one of my favourites. Okay, we're 30,000, we're just coming in now to uh, Lissend, that gives us another 38 nautical miles. Maybe we should be dropping a bit more. Right, I need to turn our weather radar on. It's cool that it works though. I'm quite happy that it works. We'll put it on to number two.
got a massive headwind. We know in uh, BA retro livery. Oh, really? I do like the old uh, retro one as well. <clears throat> okay, we're down below 10,000 feet, nearly, so we'll just start flicking on landing lights. Everything else is still fine. Okay, we're in ice in range again, so uh, we're going to throw on the anti-ice. Okay, Mitch missed approach. We'll be going straight back up to 2,000 feet. Shouldn't have any issues. Hopefully my reverse thrusters are working. They weren't working last week. A DH of uh, mm, three fifty, nearly. Oh, thunder and lightning. Uh, yep, yeah, real weather. Apparently it's now raining.
Manchester. Yeah, I saw something about Dubai being flooded. I, I, I didn't know if it was clickbait or not. No, and it kind of pops up on your phone sometimes. Uh, there was an Aer Lingus as well. At, uh had to go back to Birmingham this evening because they had a mystery package on board. Okay, slats are coming out. Uh, Leeds Bradford traffic, 77742, coming in on final approach for runway 32. Yeah, I remember when I was leaving Heathrow, the pilot, we were delayed and the pilot said if we didn't get out by, I think it was 11pm on the dot, we, we weren't allowed out. You got out like two minutes before, but yeah, there, there are curfews at some airports and because of housing and stuff. <clears throat> Okie dokie. We'll just go through final setup here. Uh, auto brake to low. For whatever reason why it won't click yet. Uh, spoilers already armed. All the throttles are doing what they got to do. All lights are good.
I don't know. Knock Airport gets the A380s. This is where they come to scrap them. You know, Gatwick would take an A380 easy. I think any of the airports really would, to be honest. Now, disembarkation might be the, the issue. Okay, I put the uh, ILS on. Just gonna bring that speed back just a little bit more. Oh, it's proper pissing it down now. Gotta love a wiper that does nothing. Okay, flaps are set to full. Seem to be miles off the runway here. Okay, we're just gonna hand fly the whole thing. I just fly past them, mate. Eh? Oh, well, that wind, uh, that wind is a good one.
What timing for the rain to stop. Why is your ahead? Your eyebrows kicked in. Now we have to do a go around. I don't know why the auto throttle went back on. Not ideal. I don't know why, it just kicked back in again, I don't know why. Even like now.
Okay, hopefully no drama this time. I think I know why. Uh, Lee's Bradford traffic, 77742, uh, on final to land, runway 32. Come on, why are you stuck? I don't understand why my plane is stuck. I don't know, did it bug out a little bit there? Yeah. I don't know what's happened. Okay. No idea. I didn't need much runway. <laughs> yeah, the auto throttle kicked in again. I don't know. When you take it off auto, you should should just do as it's told. Anyways, we'll just turn it off so we can uh, finish the flight. Yeah, I need to have a look at our landing procedure again. Don't know, I don't know what, what's happened to the plane. Uh, but there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Always always a challenge. Always always something stupid for me. Um, oh, well. I say I've done more than blow the tyres. Um, yeah, so look. Uh, hopefully I'll see you all on Thursday. And uh, yeah, thanks all for watching. And uh, have a good evening. Bye for now.